export um, a file in order to then put it into your DAW, into Logic Pro in this case. And so basically, this is just a project of mine. If I go to File, Export, and then go to Music XML, and then just click Export. And in my case, I'm just going to click Test 2, because I don't actually need this file, but I want to be able to easily find it in order to show you how to then import it into Logic Pro. So then you just click Save, and then after that's exported, if I go into Logic Pro, this is a project of mine that I've already completed it, but I did import it in that way and then put it to other instruments. So basically, you know, wherever you want it to import into. To the beginning, I like to just click at the last, the last little section here, and then you go, and this is in Logic Pro, you go to File, Import, Music XML, and then you would just click whatever the file is, and then import. And here it says import tempo, time signatures, key signatures. Um, in my case, because my project's already done, I wouldn't want to import the tempo and change it, so I would unclick that. But whatever works for your project, you would just make sure it's clicked or unclicked, and then just click OK. And then after it loads in, it will load in with just uh, Logic instruments. And so then what I typically do is then I'll find whatever instrument it is and I'll just copy and paste it. Or you can click and drag it into your instrument um, that you want to actually put it in so it sounds as good as possible. And then obviously you can adjust it as you want in order to sound the best possible by adding expression and, and such, uh, changing the velocity, whatever whatever you do um, with your projects. But yes, that is how you import from a music notation program, in my case it was Sibelius, into Logic Pro. Okay, hope that was helpful. Mm -hmm.